I filed a complaint against HBCI Cable Company for discriminating based on religion and creed in 2005 with the Minnesota Human Rights Department. I drove all the way up to Minneapolis to speak with a guy named David Castledine. He told me to take my complaint back down to Winona, Minnesota and file it with the local Human Rights Commission. He said they would investigate it, but they don't actually have a legal right to investigate it and they sat on the complaint for two months. I had to badger them for weeks to finally get them to admit that they didn't investigate it, even though they had previously sent me an email claiming that they did. Dean Lands of the Winona Human Rights Commission claims it's all right for the local cable company to discriminate based on religion and give preferential treatment to the local Catholic organizations. Because David Castledine gave me false information, my complaint was never investigated as they were supposed to do, and I was not able to file a lawsuit. I've since been harassed and discriminated against repeatedly by other members of the local Winona clique. I finally decided to contact Minnesota Human Rights Commissioner Belma Corbo via email and ask her why I was told to have my complaint investigated by the local Human Rights Commission that was not legally entitled to investigate my complaint. Velma refused to respond. Instead, she had David Castledine send me a response. And of course, his response was ridiculous and basically nonsensical based on the information I had given Velma Corbel. So I emailed Velma back telling her that David Castledine's response was stupid. So she had another person, Judy Johnson Gaines, respond to me. And her response was just as stupid. She told me things I already knew. Apparently, neither one had bothered to read my emails. So to this day, my complaint has never been investigated. The local cable company has been allowed to continuously discriminate against me. And I found out that other cable companies in southern Minnesota discriminate based on religion and creed. Even worse, Charter Communications decided to draw up new rules for use of their public access channel based on Velma Corbel's refusal to investigate my complaint. They are now discriminating all around the country. Velma Corbel was appointed by Governor Tim Pawlenty. Under her leadership, the Minnesota Human Rights Commission has a paltry 5% completion rate. This is because she spends more time on propaganda claiming to be doing her job than she does on actually doing her job. She brings stars in like Mike Farrell to talk about what a wonderful job she's doing. Worse yet, she uses school children in petty little publicity campaigns. She doesn't bother to tell these kids that when a campaign donor to the Republican governor, Tim Pawlenty, like Gary Evans, who runs HBCI Cable Company in Winona, Minnesota, discriminates, she won't do her job and she'll let them get away with it. Thanks a lot, Velma. I really appreciate everything.